Let's head over to the Beko kitchen uh, where we catch up with Mark <laughs> and Chef Jeff. Well, hi, Jeff. Welcome back. Hi. What are we cooking today, Mark? Right, we have got the prawn dish, and like you said, I think it's the best one to last. We were um, golden fried prawns. Yeah. We've got some salted egg yolk there, mm. and we're going to make some nests as well, aren't we? Uh, some yes. egg nests yes. and, and, and there's going to be crispy garnish going on there we've got some carvings and vegetables <laughs> yes. we've got everything in this dish it's going to be great it's going to be really really good we've been marvelling at your carvings from behind us all week Jeff and just remind me again one of those watermelon how long did it take? Uh, maybe the, the one Ten hour, minutes. two hours. <laughs> two hours, yeah, exactly. It, well, you'd just take it with a chainsaw or something and, yeah. and the taro carving that was a bit longer wasn't it? How long yes. was that? And the one week Far out. Yeah, see, I, I would have just given up. I, did, I would have t totally <laughs> d done some Internet. crazy things with that. Look, we are so excited about the prawns today because I know that they are going to be delicious. So we'll find out a little bit l later on how we can put this all together. I'm salivating already. And that's our final day of Taiwanese Cooking Week, which I've really enjoyed, really enjoyed tasting it too. So we welcome back Chef Jeff Wu. Paul's here as well. And of course, Mark, to make this classic seafood dish. It is the golden fried prawns. Jeff, is this another Taiwanese? favourite? Yes. One of yours? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. It's very good. <laughs> Love it. Good food. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I believe you already. Now, what are we going to do here, Mark? What have we got here? Right, so, yeah, what is this? And the uh, spring, the spring, spring roll wrappers. The, uh, yeah. Ah, spring roll wrappers, cool. For the garnish. So, so this is going to be a bit of a garnish first. Yeah. So we're going to start with this. Mm. So I'm just going to, I'll walk with some hot oil and then we'll pop it in. And then just cook it nice and crispy, yeah, yeah. nice and golden. We need a crispy. And, th and then we're going to lay all the prawns yeah, on top of that, so yeah, it's like, yeah. a, like a basket. Well, that's what I love about what we've seen this week with the Taiwanese food, is presentation is incredible as well. And, Jeff, have, are you responsible for this creation here on the plate? <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of, just something you just quickly whipped up, was it? <laughs> OK, maybe next time i teach you the how yeah, next the time. <laughs> I, would like, I would love that. Let's yeah, let's do another. Okay, so these didn't take very long at all. They've gone golden pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. It's just just like cooking a spring roll, really, mm. but it's going to be a lot faster because it's just uh, just small pieces. We do love so nice and rolls. golden, nice and crispy, oh, and good. then we'll good. Good, good, good chef. Good. Yeah. You're getting the seal of approval, Mark. I'm quite surprised, <laughs> to be honest. OK, so they are over there. And then, of course, what else do we have to do to get this show on the road? Right, so we've got our prawns now. So yeah. what we're going to do is create a batter. And a, a small marinade and, and a, oh. a, a, a batter to get our prawns crispy. OK, so they're going into a bowl. Do you, you, when you get a prawn, you have to take the, the sort of innards out of the shell, obviously. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Or, or you can just buy the, the tail. So you can buy them already made. Right, which is... Uh, or already done. Or if you get the whole prawns, you know, you take the head off, take the shell off, um, and then take the poo tube out. Oh, you said... <laughs> yep. What do we need to do? <laughs> OK. Right, so we're going to marinate it now. So we've got some uh, uh, salt and pepper. Great. And Goes salt. in. Uh, a little bit of sugar, sesame oil. Cool. And we've got uh, some potato starch as well, haven't we? And that's going to create yeah. our, our crispy batter. And there's, I was having a look at the recipe before, so there's actually a little bit of custard powder in there, and that's what helps get the, um, the prawns that golden colour, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. But if you haven't got custard powder, what you can do is we're just going to put a yolk in there as right. well. So that's going to, and it's going to help bind it as well. So, so the yolk will be really good, yeah. The name golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can see already, you know, nice and, nice yep. and yellow. Yep. It's colour. Oh, yeah. And then we've got the salted egg yolk as well, which we're going to make, a, a, you know, quick stir-fry vegetables and a, a sauce around the prawns. Um, and, this, and that's what it is. So when you say salted, is that preserved in some way? Like, or, because that's quite solid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so you, so you just, they, they cook this in the salt, don't they? Yeah. And how long, how long does it take? Uh, maybe the five minutes. Five minutes, oh, really? yeah. It, um, preserving it, preserving yeah. it in the salt. Wow, that's, yeah. I've never seen that before, that's really cool. Beautiful. Mm. So, so we have a pack full of flavour as well. Excellent. So Jeff's put uh, what what's gone in there now? The the, the potato starch. Potato starch. Yep. Great. So and that's that's ready to go. Yeah. And then I'm going to start deep deep frying these. Yeah. Deep Brilliant. Oh, this is my favourite. But I am going to stand back though. <laughs> Are we waiting for the sizzle? <laughs> How hot does the oil need to be? You want to go pretty hot on this? Yeah. So pretty hot. So about probably about 180 degrees. You know, they're very they're very small pieces. Um, yeah. So they're not going to take long. So okay. by the time the batter's nice and crispy and golden, yeah. you know, the prawn will be ready. And obviously we don't want to crowd the pan because we want them yeah, to be crispy. Don't don't pr uh, crowd the pan. Just pop them in. Just trying to separate them as we as we go, and you can see Jeff sort of, you know, oh. as the cooking, you're moving it around. And how long would you expect that to take? 
Oh, one to two minutes, probably. Okay, so very, really very quick, fast. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. minute. Yeah. One yeah. minute yeah. Oh, I just love the noise they make. It's almost like, hello. I'm pretty sure there's not enough here for everyone, though, because I'll just be taking the plate. Now, we're celebrating the cuisine and culture of Taiwan this week and have a delicious golden fried prawn recipe to finish. It's very hard not to get my fingers in here. So, what is next? Because, of course, the prawns are doing their thing. We've got the, uh, the wonton wrappers over there looking gorgeous for a nice bed. jeff has got the egg yolks here, the salted egg yolks. Yep. What's next? Right, so we're going to make, uh, we're gonna make the little... Little sauce, aren't we, to go yeah. around the uh, mm -hmm. to coat or seasoning to go around the uh, prawn. So the prawns Correct. just come out, drain them off, nice and crispy. They're all cooked, and then we've got another pan on here. So a little bit of oil goes in, and then we're going to cook the uh, salted egg yolk first. Excellent. So what else is going in with the salted egg yolk? Because I can see Jeff's already cut some stuff up. Right, so he's, it's like a world one in the kitchen. He's just been, <laughs> he's just been chopping mad. So we've got ginger, garlic, chilli, some spring onions. So very ni uh, very finely cut. Yep. He's just, he's just crook, cooked the, um, or just, you know, squashed and chopped the uh, salted egg. I'm Look fascinated by the yeah. salted egg. Look at it, it's just frothed up. Oh, okay, yeah. straight in. So stir frying over a good heat. Um, you know, you're getting all those flavours releasing now. What I've so loved about this week with the Taiwanese food is it's just things I never knew or thought of doing at home and it's really kind of opened it up and showed how easy it can be too, which is really exciting because you do kind of get stuck into the same old thing. Wine? This, I think, has really challenged us. It's cool. There's a little bit of uh, rice Ooh. wine just going in there. Wine Add pepper. some pepper. And a little sugar. What a sort of touch, a touch of sugar? So mm, uh, again, what sort of flavour mix are we going to get with this? What you're going to get like, that whole salty, sweet, hot. Um, there was some crispy shallots in there as well, mm, so yeah. lots of texture. And the breadcrumbs. And a little bit of breadcrumbs uh, as well. A little. Okay. And then prawns. Yes. Prawns in. Is, is texture important in Taiwanese cooking? Texture. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It yeah. is as much as the flavour. Mm. As we can see there, this is starting to look absolutely gorgeous yeah. and those colours coming through as yeah. well. Yum. Do you Maybe use prawns a lot, far. Jeff? Yeah. I'll just grab that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't mind us. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, are prawns quite a popular um, food to, mm -hmm. for a base, you know, recipe basis in Taiwan? Yeah, yeah. Excellent stuff. Mm. Oh, that is smelling that's wow. really that's all good. good. Yeah, that's good. Wow, look at that. This Very is good. Great. Okay, so what are we doing now, Mark? And then we are. So next. it's all about presentation. What we said. Yeah. Don't so. muck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So yeah. are we going? To, is there going to be a sauce or something go with that? It's like a dry seasoning. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. So well, there was a little, there was a little bit of the wine, but then it's just evaporated in there and just gone around it. Fantastic. So again, as we've seen this week, it's all about presentation with Taiwanese food. Um, there's, you can see the the most amazing sculpture that Jeff has done out of a carrot, uh, and the cucumber there as well with the tendrils coming out the side. Behind us all this week, we've had the most incredible um, watermelon sculptures with our logo on it, the taro uh, sculpture as well, which took you a whole week. And we really want to say a massive thank you for coming thank in and, and opening our eyes to what we can experience in Taiwan and what we can even cook at home. So thank you so much. Uh, it is my favourite part of the show. We get to eat and we've had incredible Taiwanese dishes every day. Hopefully you've tried some at home. And if you'd like more about the cuisine and diverse country that is Taiwan, go to the Taiwanese Tourism website which is eng.taiwan.net.tw. And Mark and Jeff and um, Paul, of course, you're with us as well. How's it looking? Well, it's, uh, I don't know about you, but it looks good enough to eat. Mm, and if yeah. you haven't tried any recipes, try this one, because it is really, really tasty. Feel free and to bring it over. Yeah, Absolutely. Quite the prawns have gone, <laughs> gone down a bit. I've been staring at it for a very, very long time. Mm, yeah. I didn't have okay. any. What's on the menu for Monday? Right, on Monday, I've got a Thai vegetarian pineapple fried rice. Mm.